but we're going to be discussing kind of the effectiveness and uh, how to set up a knee and kind of where where is the best place to land the knee. Kind of the most common in the clinch. And a, and a good way for beginners to practice the knee is to get in a partner. And obviously, you know, someone may not have this cushion. So what you could do is kind of stuff your stomach in with some pillow sheets, some blankets, or the first kind of best way, the first thing when you walk into a Muay Thai gym and you're learning knees, you kind of want to learn the rhythm of it. So one way, it's kind of like a dance, you grab the partner's neck, and you start kind of throwing knees, bah. So we throw one knee, you're stepping down, and kind of you're kind of bringing your back, your back leg that, but like back leg backwards, and boom, it's kind of like a circle. That, that's kind of like the simple first thing they, they, sh they show you, not, not for practical use, but more just to get the rhythm of the knees. And once you get the rhythm down, then throwing the knees kind of in a real fight will be more effective. So, like I said, the knees are kind of more of a personal thing. So, the most common in a clinch, if you're in an MMA match or a Muay Thai match, let's say boxing, if you're in a Muay Thai, Muay Thai cage and you're against, the, you're against the, the ring of the cage, we're gonna simulate being against the, against the ring or the cage. We're going to show you kind of two different knees, kind of one straightforward kind of knee and just going through and kind of the slapping knee. And the slapping knee is kind of more used kind of to give charity horses, like you said, to, to the thighs. So the slapping knee come, comes like kind of the same motion, hopefully you can't see, it's the same motion as throwing a kick. So we're doing kind of like you're in the clinch and your knee comes up in a circle and spot. This, I'm hitting his, his arm, but what you really want to do is hit him in your thigh, so kind of like, bah, somewhere in the thigh, kind of make, make it tender, make it, put him in the meat grinder. And the second knee, what you, we want to do is up in the solar plex, so you kind of, boom, boom. Then kind of want to mix it up, do that, and kind of you re reset, and then kind of, bah. Slapping knee is kind of most basic. The only time you can really use it is in the clinch, and Besides flying knees, those we can't really demonstrate because those you're gonna have to we need more we need more space and uh, we need more expertise training because that one could be even dangerous for us because what if accidentally you know it landed and I hit it and hit him somewhere where you want to hit it. But flying knees is kind of something you have to practice at a, at a gym where it's kind of more supervised. But here the basic basic concept of these knees they're, they're simple. You get creative enough to you know land them wherever you feel. Uh, you should land them, if that makes sense. And the clinch is kind of where you most likely see them, and uh, they're mostly to the body and to the leg. So yeah, knees kind of the second second most powerful kick, uh, strike uh, below the, the leg kick. And, yeah, so that's it.